Well howdy there friends, today we're embarking on a remarkable journey to catch a glimpse of how the cast members from the Facts of Life have changed over the years. We'll be revealing their true identities and ages and you're in for a real treat as we compare their youthful days on the show to the present year of 2023. So don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel y'all ready for this ride let's get this journey rolling one. Number 1. Kim Fields as Tootie Ramsey. Kim Fields is best known for her portrayal of roller skating enthusiast Tootie Ramsey a character she played throughout all nine seasons of The Facts of Life following her iconic role Kim Fields continued to shine in the world of television as she took on the character Regine Hunter in Living Single from 1993 to 1998 her presence in the industry remained strong and she made guest appearances on various TV shows. Notably in 2012 she portrayed a social worker in What to Expect When You're Expecting. Her versatility as a performer was further highlighted in 2015 and 2016 when she graced the screen as part of Season 8 of The Real Housewives of Atlanta and competed on Season 22 of Dancing with the Stars in addition to her acting career Kim Fields discovered a new passion as a television director contributing her talents to shows like Kane and Adam Kell Meet the Browns and House of Pain among others. In her personal life Kim married her second husband the Broadway actor Christopher Morgan in 2007. A mere two months after welcoming their first child son Sebastian their family expanded with the arrival of their second son Quincy in late 2013 furthermore in late 2017. Kim Fields added author to her list of accomplishments with the release of her memoir Blessed Life My Surprising Journey of Joy Tears and Tales from Harlem to Hollywood. This multi-talented actress continues to inspire and captivate her audience with her diverse contributions to the world of entertainment. Money. Yeah. So sometimes it's your time, sometimes it's, it's your desire. Yeah. But here's what my mom wanted me to share, because I told her I was coming here what the theme was. And Number 2. Charlotte Ray as Edna Garrett. Charlotte Ray known for her portrayal of Edna Garrett the nurturing figure in the facts of life brought a wealth of experience to the role her acting journey began in the 1950s when she graced the screens of numerous anthology series that prevailed during that era as the 60s and 70s unfolded she solidified her presence as a sitcom regular making appearances in popular shows like Car 54 Where Are You All in the Family Good Times and Hot L Baltimore. In addition she played the role of Molly the male lady in the early episodes of Sesame Street Ray's significance extended to her starring role. In the first two seasons of Different Strokes it was her ingenious idea to pave the way for Mrs. Garrett to have her own spin-off following numerous years of modest TV roles Ray, who had established herself as a uniquely captivating character actress, found her most prominent and memorable role as the young stars of The Facts of Life grew. Ray gracefully transitioned into a supporting role with Mrs. Garrett's presence becoming less central in 1986 she bid farewell to the cast of The Facts of Life and another season actress Cloris Leachman stepped in to portray her sister Beverly and Stickle post The Facts of Life. Ray remained active contributing her distinctive voice to recurring roles and gracing various shows such as St. Elsewhere Murder she wrote The King of Queens Her and Pretty Little Liars final appearance on television was in the Boy Meets World spin-off Girl Meets World in 2014. Ray's talents extended to the big screen where she left her mark in movies like Bananas the Hot Rock Hair Christmas Cottage and Ricky in The Flash in 2018 at the age of 92 Charlotte Ray passed away but her enduring legacy in the entertainment industry continues to thrive encompassing a remarkable career that spanned over six decades. Anymore. And so... I thought I'd like to go back and do a stage, and travel, and enjoy. Number 3. Nancy McKeon as Joe Polniacek. Nancy McKeon, renowned for her role as Joe Polniacek, portrayed the fearless tomboy within the group her entrance into the world of acting commenced with a guest appearance on Starsky and Up Hutch at the tender age of 11. The pivotal moment came when she joined the cast of The Facts of Life during the show's second season contributing her talents to the series throughout its duration while engaged in The Facts of Life McKeon expanded her repertoire by engaging in voiceover projects and participating in after-school specials her versatility shown as she ventured into TV movies during the 80s. In 90s the actress continued to grace the small screen most notably by taking on the role of The Reg the show's second. 
Season contributing her talents to the series throughout its duration while engaged in the facts of life McKeon expanded her repertoire by engaging in voiceover projects and participating in after-school specials her versatility shown as she ventured into TV movies during the 80s and 90s the actress continued to grace the small screen most notably by taking on the role of the rebellious police inspector Jenny Exted. In the women's-centric Lifetime procedural series The Division from 2001 to 2004. At 57 McKeon's journey took her to New Horizons as she made an appearance on Dancing with the Stars in 2018 and in 2020 she lent her voice talents to the revived animated series Animaniacs. Funny. <laughs> but... Oh, it just hit me. Right. Yeah. Okay. No, so, funny and current and yeah. That would be, but no. Number 4. Lisa Welchell as Blair Warner Lisa Welchell gained widespread recognition for her role as the rebellious Blair Warner captivating audiences throughout all nine seasons of The Facts of Life. Following the conclusion of The Facts of Life Lisa Welchell made her appearance in the 1992 direct-to-video sequel of Where the Red Fern Grows. However she decided to take an extended break from acting to embrace the role of a dedicated stay-at-home mom and wife shortly after the series finale she entered wedlock with her ex-husband and together they have a son and two daughters Lisa took on the responsibility of homeschooling all three of their children in more recent years Lisa made her return to the entertainment industry with the 2013 film A Media Christmas and has subsequently starred in three made-for-TV movies notably her daughter Clancy Cobble had a role in the 2016 Hallmark movie Hearts of Spring which Lisa both starred in and executive produced beyond her acting career Lisa Welchell has made a name for herself as an inspirational speaker and life coach. She's also the author of over a dozen books and co-hosted The Jeff Probst Show in 2012 and 2013. In 2012 she demonstrated her resilience by becoming the co-runner up on season 25 of Survivor in 2019 Lisa entered a new chapter of her personal life by marrying Nashville-based psychologist Pete Harris. I happen to be in, going to Texas. I'll visit Nancy or Atlanta, visit Kim or in, in LA, uh, visit Mindy. I live in Nashville now. So, um... Number 5. Mindy Cohn as Natalie Green. Mindy Cohn left a lasting impact by portraying Natalie a rare TV character who was both curvy and content without being overly focused on losing weight her journey into acting began when she received a personal invitation from none other than Mrs. Garrett herself. During their research visit to Westlake School in California Charlotte Ray and the producers of The Facts of Life discovered the charismatic teen Mindy Cohn who won them over with her humor and uplifting energy in the 1980s Cohn made appearances in popular series such as 21, Jump Street and Charles in Charge she continued to grace the small screen in the 90s joining the cast of shows like The Second Half and The Chimp Channel although these series had relatively short runs as the 2000s rolled in. She transitioned into a prolific voice actress notably voicing Velma in various Scooby-Doo specials TV shows and video games in a poignant turn of events Cohn faced a breast cancer diagnosis in 2012 the strength and resilience she displayed in her battle against the disease bore fruit and as of 2017 she emerged victorious. Cancer-free today at the age of 57 she continues to pursue her acting career and is set to appear in the upcoming miniseries Palm Royale sharing the screen with acclaimed talents like Allison Janney Laura Dern and Carol Burnett. How okay. an actress yeah. I am? Thank you. Jump back. <laughs> Boom. Boom. You got good, right? You were the worst, but at the end you're supposed to end up good, aren't you? I learned some skills. Good. It's called making good television. Number 6. Sherry Austin as Pippa McKenna. Music had always held a special place in Austin's heart, and her early foray into the industry saw her sharing the stage with country legend Johnny Cash when she was just 14 years old. Yet the Australian native temporarily deferred her musical ambitions when she received an unexpected career opportunity from NBC executives during season 9 of The Facts of Life. Austin assumed the role of Pippa McKenna, an Australian exchange student whose character frequently aided Andy in his various schemes. Once her time on the series concluded, Austin resumed her focus on her true passion, music. She made sporadic guest appearances on television, but primarily dedicated her energy to her music career. Initially, she sought success in her homeland, joining the band Color House. However, her musical journey eventually led her to Nashville, where she decided to embrace a career in country music. 
Over the years, Austin has released several albums and remains active in creating new music. Yeah, that song, it, I wrote that about a couple things. One, it's based on a family experience when one of the kids in our family got sick and nearly died. So there was definitely, that was a big part of... Number 7. Julie Pikarski as Sue and Weaver. Pikarski, a former child star, found herself in the cast of The Facts of Life, but her tenure was brief as the producers decided to part ways after just one season. Sue and Weaver, a boy crazy A-grade student, had been part of the main cast since the show's inception, but the decision makers deemed her character less compelling and chose to move in a different direction. Following her departure from the facts of life, Pikarski's career faced some challenges, resulting in only a handful of guest appearances on less successful television shows. Subsequently, she transitioned to the field of journalism, embarking on a career as an entertainment reporter for a local network in St. Louis. Her life took another significant turn as she tied the knot and became a mother to three children. Parents and my upbringing, they just always, especially my father, we always said he was the next thing to being a priest, um, such a, just a great, great man, that it was just always important and it was about, you have kids. Number 8. Felice Schachter as Nancy Olson. Nancy Olsen was your typical teenage girl, often found chatting away on the phone with her boyfriend. However, after a while, the show's producers concluded that she wasn't bringing anything particularly new to the series and decided to remove her from the cast. Nonetheless, they extended a few return appearances to Felice Schachter, allowing her to reprise her most iconic role. Schachter embarked on her journey in the entertainment industry at a remarkably young age. Her career began practically before she could walk, and she even graced the cover of American Baby magazine. As a child, she lent her charm to commercials for products like Ivory Snow and Pampers, while also delving into ballet training as she grew a bit older. Over time, this former child star found herself yearning for a different path, one that involved stepping out of the constant spotlight. She made the transition from acting to production, exploring her newfound passion by creating infomercials, commercials, and corporate films. Her role as a production coordinator on the set of Law & Order Special Victims Unit marked another significant chapter in her career. I had the time of my life and made lifelong friends and, and have a, I have a degree from an Ivy League university and now I've been able to use it to be a teacher. And Number 9. Mackenzie Aston as Andy Moffat. Mackenzie Aston recognized for his portrayal of the adopted son of Beverly and Stickle who assumed a regular role in the series during the sixth season. Consistently found himself entangled in get-rich-quick schemes however his financial aspirations didn't hinder him from being a supportive presence for the girls at the Eastland Academy. Assisting them in navigating their challenges in the subsequent decades Aston's career thrived and he amassed an impressive list of credits making it easy to overlook his role on the facts of life among his most remarkable accomplishments are his contributions to popular shows like Scandal the Magicians and Homeland Aston's talents extended beyond the realm of acting as he dedicated five years of his professional life to Johns Hopkins University in Baltimore where he worked alongside his father. Even darkness must pass. A new day will come, it will. And when the sun shines... Number 10. George Clooney as George Burnett. Before ascending to Hollywood stardom, George Clooney was just another aspiring actor seeking that elusive bid break. It was on the set of The Facts of Life that he found his first major opportunity, landing the role of Mrs. Garrett's handyman, George Burnett. In the series, he played a pivotal role in helping her rebuild her store, Edna's Edibles, after a devastating fire. However, George's character later took a different path, leaving his job to become a roadie for a promising singer named Cinnamon. Following his stint on the facts of life, Clooney's career soared to new heights. He established a strong rapport with the network, earning a prominent role in the acclaimed medical drama ER, a series that significantly elevated his profile. Yet Clooney's ambitions extended beyond television. He went on to become one of Hollywood's most versatile actors, seamlessly navigating between blockbuster films and compelling dramas, including his remarkable performance in Syriana, which earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. Beyond his acting career, Clooney has ventured into directing, screenwriting, and achieved recognition as an Oscar-winning producer. 
it important for you to be up on the, uh, on the Big Silver, as we say? That's actually my nickname, Big Silver. <laughs> when you were a stripper. Yes. You were... Boom, boom. Number 11. Cloris Leachman as Beverly and Stickle. When Charlotte Ray made the decision to leave the facts of life to prioritize her health, her dear friend Cloris Leachman graciously stepped into the role. Leachman assumed the character of Mrs. Garrett's sister Beverly and Stickle who agreed to look after the girls following her siblings' marriage and departure to Africa for Peace Corps service. Leachman's illustrious career in the entertainment industry had already solidified her status as a seasoned veteran boasting an Academy Award and a multitude of other prestigious awards. Subsequent to her time on The Facts of Life Leachman continued to shine in the entertainment world gracing shows like The Ellen Show Malcolm in the Middle and Raising Hope. Her extensive filmography spanning over seven decades includes diverse projects. With the family drama, I can only imagine among her more recent credits remarkably. Cloris Leachman shares the record for the most acting primetime Emmy wins with Julia Lewis a testament to her extraordinary talent and versatility sadly in 2021 this beloved actress bid farewell to the world leaving behind a lasting legacy in the realm of entertainment. <laughs> Don't you think so? Crack. I cracked it. Oh, yes. <laughs> Got it. Number 12. Julian Haddock as Cindy Webster. Cindy Webster was one of the characters who found herself written out of the series after the first season when the writers opted for some changes. She was known for her athletic and tomboyish nature, participating in various sports activities like baseball, tennis, hockey, and track. Remarkably, Julian Haddock had no hard feelings about her character's departure and even returned to portray the role on several occasions. Following the conclusion of The Facts of Life, Haddock made a decisive choice to step away from the world of acting, channeling her energy into more personal pursuits. She chose to settle in Southern California, where she built a family alongside her husband. Embracing a life that was far from the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, Haddock became an active member of a religious community, dedicating herself to her church choir and engaging in charitable work affiliated with her faith. Trying to talk to older females <laughs> about love and sex and just, you know, everything that life had to offer. And we Number 13. John Waller as Stephen Bradley. Mr. Bradley, who served as the headmaster of Eastland Academy and taught various classes at the school, had a relatively brief stint on the show. NBC executives determined that the series didn't require more than one strong authority figure, leading to the removal of his character after just one season. However, Lawler's departure from the facts of life didn't hinder his career. Nearly four decades later, he continues to thrive in the industry, consistently securing new roles. Lawler has recently graced the screen in the adventure thriller Gold alongside Matthew McConaughey, and appeared in Netflix's original miniseries Godless and Scoundrels. And, because uh, I put the guitar down for years, and I, I just got tired of the whole trying to do, the, do it for a living and all. Number 14. Molly Ringwald as Molly Parker. Molly Parker marked Molly Ringwald's debut character in the world of acting. When the show's producers initially cast her, they couldn't have foreseen that she would evolve into one of the prominent stars of her generation. If her potential had been apparent, they might have opted to keep her on the show longer, allowing the audience to explore the witty, highly imaginative characters she portrayed on The Facts of Life. After NBC's chapter came to a close, Ringwald ventured into her career elsewhere with enthusiasm. Her iconic roles in The Breakfast Club, Sixteen Candles, and Pretty in Pink catapulted her to the status of one of Hollywood's most recognizable young talents. However, her career encountered hurdles after this period. The TV shows she joined were short-lived, and the movies she chose failed to make a substantial impact. It took some time for Ringwald to regain her footing, but she ultimately secured pivotal roles in TV series such as The Secret Life of the American Teenager and Raising Expectations. Her more recent credits encompass appearances in the teen series Riverdale and the Netflix romantic comedy The Kissing Booth. As the second to the littlest, and then sort of the more you grow, the oldest one gets booted out, and then the next one <laughs> takes over, and then... So it's like Menudo, know. kind yeah, of. Yeah, kind of. 
In the world of entertainment, the stars of the facts of life have continued to shine brightly. They've carved their own paths, pursuing diverse careers, but they'll always be remembered for the warmth and camaraderie they brought to our screens back in 1979. It's fascinating to see how far they've come, and their journeys serve as a testament to the enduring talent of this remarkable cast.